Hi everyone, today we're going to be colouring these two leaves. Now, as far as I am thinking, I think this is basil, so that's how I'm going to colour it. I'm using my Polychromos pencils again. Now there are lots of different varieties of basil in different colours. I'm going to go for a sort of just a mid-green colour. There is red and, and brownie reds and things like that. So I'm going to start with my um, permanent green olive colour and uh, just colour it all over in that to start with. Now I've got some photos of basil in front of me but um, I'm going to sort of try and make it, give some shading onto the basil leaves to make them look um, less flat as it were. You'll see. So just a little bit of this and then we'll, uh, we'll think about what other colours to add. I hope you're okay with these little mini videos. Um, it's a little bit quicker for me to film these and uh, because it's uh, the children are off school um, it's easier for me to try to do something a little bit more quickly and uh, so they don't have to be out of the room for very long while I'm filming. Now what I want now is a darker green and we have got a few darker green options in the set. I'm going to go for this pine green and mark out some areas where I think the leaves will be darker. So I'm thinking at the bottom they're usually darker where there's some more shadow so I'm going to push down quite hard and get quite a dark layer at the bottom of the leaf. Now also along the stem here it might be slightly um, dented in, indented is the right word and along these pieces the sort of veins so we're going to just emphasize those by pressing really quite hard and we're going to do the same on this one so just a bit darker at the bottom and try to sort of blend that in a little we'll do it more with the uh, with the other one with the lighter green and put in the veins now in the photos that I'm looking at the veins often have a darker and a lighter part so the one side of them is a bit lighter just going to blend that in a little bit so particularly in the middle it's a bit hard to uh, to do a sort of lighter bit to one side it's not really going to work is it mm. I think my pencil isn't sharp enough, I think that's the problem. I'm just going to grab my rubber and try that again. I'm going to use my um, little Tombow Mono. And which side do I want to try on? This side. I'm just going to erase down there a little bit. And then I'll sharpen my pencil and I'll show you what I am trying to do. There we go. I want a slightly lighter bit going along there. Not on that side, just on that side. It still doesn't show up brilliantly. Let's see if we can do a better job on this one. So on this side. a little bit. We can make it darker on that side. Maybe up there as well. And then because we've tried to leave the white on that side we'll make it darker along there. Uh, the stalk as well I think needs to be a little darker. I do like basil, this doesn't really look anything like it. But hey ho. Just keep adding a few more layers of darker. 
green and I'm just going to finish with a slightly lighter one just looking at what I've got. I'm actually going to go for the light green just to try and um, blend it up together without making it any darker. That's better. looking in the camera to see where I can just improve that. There we go. Now we've also got this one next to it as we haven't taken a lot of time for that we can do that one but I've got to try and decide what it is. My husband says it's tarragon so I'm just going to look up tarragon to see what it actually looks like on my computer and see whether I think it is. Hmm... It could be, but they're quite long. They look more like a grassy sort of look. I'm wondering if it's rosemary. I think I'm going to do it as rosemary. So uh, let me just look up rosemary. So I think um, it's still long and thin, isn't it? But I think it's more like rosemary, so that's what I'm going to do. Now for me, a rosemary is more... I'm going to start it off with this, um, this is called Earth Green and that's how I'm going to start and we will darken it a bit in a minute. So I'm just going to go over all of them in this colour. I think rosemary has more of a matte look, particularly on the bottoms of the leaves. But we can add a slightly darker colour to it. I wonder what everyone else thinks this plant is. Do let me know. The stalk just sort of vanishes. There we go. I am now going to go in with some juniper green. I find that juniper green works really nicely with this particular green anyway. So what I'm going to do is just make a darker area towards this middle part here and lighter towards the tip. It's not quite so realistic but I think it works now I'm wondering if this is um time <laughs> never mind time I think has more rounded leaves though It's just a matter of pressing a bit harder on this sort of pointy bit of the leaf and then reducing the pressure as we come off. So there we are, that's it. I'm going to keep that one really simple. And uh, there we go, there are those two. Let me pull them more into the middle for you. So we did two on that one because they were quite simple. Um, well, I didn't spend too much time on them. So I hope that was fun. I hope uh, that gave you a few ideas anyway as to maybe, or maybe you think, nope, that doesn't look right at all. I uh, I don't think, I think that is a, a bay leaf and some, um, uh, I don't know, sage or something. <laughs> So we'll see. Let me know in the comments if you've got any bright ideas on what they might be. Um, and thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.